Hi, my people. You are welcome back to Physical Fashion House channel. My name is Fola. We appreciate as many that has been subscribing to this channel. And if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe today. Thank you very much. So today I will be teaching you how to make the back of your dress with loop instead of a zipper. And uh, to achieve that, you will need your fabric, then HST to HST the main fabric. So we'll be using the same fabric as our line. So we are using um, a Dolphys bridal satin. So now, this is the basic body, I mean, um, back bodies. And the, the the measurement our measurement is a, I mean our half back is a sixteen inches from the shoulder point is sixteen inches so we get sixteen inches we roll it then we get our armor line our armor line is a eight inches so we roll it so usually we use this. Uh, back this type of back we normally use it for corsets or all this uh, bustier so we will be the measurement will be start, starting our measurement from the armor line which is a uh, eight inches so and then uh, on this armor line or you can call it armor line or chest line so we will be measuring our bust on this line and this one one quarter i measure one quarter here one quarter here this is and i rule it this is zipper allowance but for this project we will not be making use of this uh, zipper allowance i just rule it there just for you to know the basic uh, point so now i'll be starting my measurement from this line and the and so now this is a bust or chest line and this is our uh, waistline to half back so the bust measurement we are working with is 34 and when we divide to, uh, 34 by 4 it gives us like a eight and a half so you measure your eight and a half a eight and a half then you measure one and a half to two inches as a seam allowance so let me just I will use two inches. So we are good to use one and a half. Let me just use two inches. The bust pan we are working with is a uh, four inches. The that, that is nipple to nipple. The nipple to nipple of the person is a uh, eight. We divide it by four. I mean by two. It gives us a uh, four inches. So you measure four inches here. You measure four inches here. You measure it down here too. This is where our half back stop. That is a uh, sixteen inches. So the remaining is just a uh, similar. So we get our bust pan, which is four inches. We get it a uh, four inches. Then we connect it. We connect it. Then we on this a. Uh, on the half back now, I mean the waistline, we come to the right and the left with a half of an inch, half an inch to the right, half an inch to the back. Then we connect it to the uh, chest line. Then here now we measure our waist. And I told you the waist we are working with is 26. When so you divide it by four, it gives us a six and a half. Six and a half. Then one inch that we are having here, you return it. Then get your two inches a seam allowance. Then you connect it. So the next thing to do is that this, for this uh, back now, this upper part of your back, I mean the chest, uh, chest line region you can you can decide to shape it by coming down with a half to two inches it depends on you but for this project i will just come down with half just half 
so then i connect connect it this way the next thing for me now is to cut it So this is the zipper allowance. We are not making use of it at all. So so now for the that area, I just notch it. I'm not cutting it off. I notch it this way. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to create the part that my um, loop will be, and to achieve that for this upper. Part, I will come in by two inches just like this then I will now connect it to the damp part uh, diagonally or slantly connect it to the damp part this way always note your your upper parts and even this notching will be helping you to know the up and the down so now the where I come in with my two inches up here, then I, you know, diagonally link it to the damp part is because by the time we finish doing this, it will give it one fee, I mean, stylish uh, fee shape at the back here. But if you want to do it in another way around, I mean, the other one that you want to um, attach flap, you can do it two to two and a half up here and two the same two and a half up here. Then you cut it out. Then in that case, you want to, you know, attach your flap under that. But this one, it will bring out warm, stylish uh, fish, uh, fish shape that you will love. So let me cut it out now. So this is it. I will cut out the same thing. The same as this for my line. I notch it here again. So I will cut out my hair stay for the main fabric. So uh, let everything ensure that it is on food as you are cutting it. So I've cut out the hair stay. So the next thing is to gum the hair stay on the on the main fabric then i will cut out my rope that i'm going to the rope i'll be using like a two lace for it i will cut it out then you will need the you cut out um another strap that will be used for the rope this is it now i have uh, you know i've gone the est and i've Add my darts. This is the darts. Ensure when you are ironing your darts, ensure that your you iron it the darts to back the zipper side. So that's the way you iron your darts. Don't let it face the zipper side. So this is it. I've done the lining the same way. I've uh, had the darts and uh, iron it very well, just the same way the main fabric is i've cut out my rope i measure three inches by something around the 85 inches mm. yes you're having like 85 inches here so you can cut three uh three by 60 three by 70 depending on how long you want your rope to be and this is a, I've cut out another one, one cut, I mean one and a half, I cut out one and a half by like 26 as you want it because this one will be used to create your 
loop after folding it this way you fold it this way and stitch so you will now cut it out to two inches to to, to, to create our loop for this loop i will join lining and the fabric together now as i will be joining the lining and fabric together this is it so i will go ahead now and join the upper part of my lining and the fabric together with half an inch and um, top stitch but i won't close this a uh, uh, zipper side yet because that's where i will insert the loop so for this rope i will go and join it with quarter of an inch i will join everything then i turn it to the right side now this is it we have uh, stitched the rope and turn it to the right side so this is the one we are to use to create our loop so we are going to measure two 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 inches and cut out as many as we want it for this project we'll be needing like 10, ten of this one here one here so five this side five this side so we just cut out a uh, ten of these uh, two two inches So this is it to so insert your loop now you just turn it to the inner side then mark half an inch first then begin to mark a one and a half one and a half one and a half one and a half ensuring that you have a at least half at the down part area here before the i mean joining allowance for the up and the skate part for the bodies and the skirt part so you don't take it to the final so you now begin to insert your your loop this way you fold it then you insert it inside you can secure it down with your office pin so you place you, you insert another one you hold it down with your office pin that's how you will do everything then you now go and run your stitch of a quarter of an inch we have stitched it so the next thing is to turn it to the right side now and iron it now we have inserted our loop now so the next thing for us is to insert the loop you can see i top stitch this a uh, um lining part so that our loop will lay very well it is top stitched You can let it be equal after inserting the first one. Pull it to be equal. Then you now begin to insert the the rest. So we have inserted our rope to the loop, and you can see how beautiful it looks. So the next thing is for us to join the side, the back, this back side to the front uh, body uh, side, and the beautiful uh, bodies will be ready. I hope you really enjoyed this video. So like it, share it with your friends, drop your comments on the comment section, and uh, subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.